Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Vool. And in this video we're going to talk through how we can set up a posing rig using Rigify in Blender. So Rigify is included with Blender, you just need to activate it. And we're going to look at how we can set this up for this base mesh that we've got from Blender.org. It's free to download and it comes with other options like female versions, more cartoony characters. And they're free for you to use for personal or commercial projects. So they're a really nice place to start if you're going to be modeling something. So let's just start with how we get Rigify. Go to Edit, Preferences, come to your add-ons and just type in Rigify. Make sure that is activated and then save your preferences if you don't have auto save on. Then we need to set up a basic armature, which is then going to be converted into our more complex rig. So shift A, armature, and there you've got a range of choices. Now you have got this human meta rig here, which is quite complex. If I just bring that in, you can see here that it's got a whole rigging for the face and eyes, as well as for the hands and all the individual fingers. We're probably not gonna go this complex, though it's exactly the same process to do this should you want to. Instead, we're gonna shift an A and go to basic. You've also got things like animals, so you can do cats or anything that's cat shaped or sharks, which work for fish or anything like that. We're gonna go for a basic human meta rig. We've got that there. So first thing that we want to make sure, or is useful to make sure, is that our origin for both our objects are the same and they're centered on each other. Then we're just gonna S to scale this up and get it to approximately the right size. Somewhere about there probably looks about right. Then we're going to start putting our rig in approximately the right place. And there's a few things we want to do to make that easier. The first is come to our object data properties, scroll all the way down or close the bone collection, which is really nicely named and sorted for us with this already there. Then we're gonna come down to viewport display and we want in front so we can always see this. Now, this does give you a slight delusion that this is working better than it is, and we'll talk about that in a second, but effectively, you're gonna need to view this from multiple angles because with it in front, it's easy to assume that everything's where you want it to be. Then we're going to go into edit mode. Now, importantly, you've got options here, edit mode or pose mode. Now, what you don't want to do Let's go back to object mode is do this in pose mode that's very important if you don't have machine tools when you press tab you can also change this up here so we want to go to edit mode and this allows us to edit the position of our rig without it implying something about the pose which we don't want to do yet importantly we don't want to have to move everything individually and then do it the same on the other side because that's going to take forever also this character is perfectly symmetrical, so it's vastly easier to do this at the same time. So we're gonna come up here to our mirroring options and set that we want this to apply across the X axis. Now I can shift click these two bits for the shoulder, G and move those to where the shoulder is and it will do the other side. Same here for the elbow and the wrist. And then I normally put this to about the palm of the hand. We'll do the same thing for the legs. So let's move that to about the hip, to the knee, to the ankle, in fact, let's just drag select those, and then G and move that to the ankle. And then we can see where we're getting some of these problems as we move around. This is not perfectly placed. So let's just select those, G to move those to the foot. Oh, in fact, sorry, let's click the whole of that bone. That's the control or sort of grabbing point. Move that to there and then move that to the end of the toes. Again, check that from other angles as well. So let's just move that down there. And then that should be back there. That should be on the knee. And that's probably about right there. And then you can see these arms are totally out of place. So let's just move each of these points to where we want them. Do make sure you're not just clicking the whole bone and moving it. You want the individual ball joints at the end. There we go. So that's looking pretty good. The other thing to always check is the spine. It should be towards the back of the model and that looks about right. And I also like to check this point here, which should be approximately where the joint of your neck is. I always look for this being just a little bit back from under the ear or somewhere around there. Right, so that's looking pretty good. But we're about to have a big problem that we need to make sure we don't have. So when I click on this rig, You've got to remember that at the beginning we scaled this up. And if we have a look over here, if you haven't got this panel, just click N and make sure you're on item. 
and you'll notice that the scale is way off. So we need to control an A and apply the scale to make sure that's set to one. I'd also recommend you double check your figure and make sure that's set to one as well. And then we're pretty good to go. So, Rigify. What we need to do first is generate our more complex rig. And we do that by clicking on the armature that we've created, come to our object data properties, go down to where it says Rigify, which will be towards the bottom, and simply click Generate Rig. And this will create our more complex rigging system. It looks a bit much, but it's actually very easy to use, and it gives you a lot of really nice options. Then we can click on our armature, and then just H to hide it, and then we need to set this up so that this will pose our mesh that we've created. So I'm gonna click on the mesh first, hold down Shift, and click on the rig. Then we're gonna press Control and P to parent, and we want to parent with automatic weights. And once you've done that, this is pretty much set up to go. All we need to do is tab, and go into pose mode, and we can move everything around. Now, generally what you want to be paying attention to are the parts that are red and the parts that are yellow. Other than that, I generally leave most of this alone because that will do everything that you need. For example, if I click on the shoulders and then just R, we can move it around on the shoulders. Oops, I've just noticed the eyes are not properly moving. So what I'm gonna do is that is because, if I go into object mode, these eyes are actually separate because of the way this comes in. So I'm going to shift click here and then control P and parent with automatic weights as well. And then this should have solved that. So let's go in pose mode and then R and then yeah, that's working. And then we can R and then Z that. Yeah, so that's working fine. So sometimes you do have bits that are separated. This is also the same if you've got, let's say some armor on top of your model as well. You want to add that to your rig. And then it's simply a matter of posing things however you want. We can rotate that round on the z-axis and notice how it moves the shoulders with it, which is great. You can G to move things around like the hips. And you'll notice that this bends the leg and blends the elbow correctly. And then we can move things like the hands if we want to G and move that around. Or R to rotate it. And you can also, if you want to rotate the arms, in a way that just rotates them around. I'm trying to think the ball joint is a good way of saying this. If I just click R and then Y and then Y again, you can rotate this around and you'll notice it'll sort of move the bicep around. So that'll take care of that. And as I said, this just makes the rigging process very easy. You've got your inverse kinematic so that your arm moves fully. So you can move around or we can do the same here. and everything deforms really nicely. Now I will say that this is massively benefiting from the fact that I'm using this base mesh. And this base mesh, if I just go into edit mode, is really nicely made up of quads. So this does really help and you don't wanna have something too complex with this. If you want to be rigging something like an STL, I would recommend that you don't and that you use the pose brush as was discussed in the last tutorial. Now if at any point you don't like your pose and you want to get back to where you are, just click on your rig, go into pose mode, A to select everything, and then just press Alt R to sort out the rotation, Alt G to sort out the movement, and you can Alt S if case you scaled something that we shouldn't have, and you're back to starting. So that is how we set up Rigify. It's really easy to use. It means that we can just pose things very nicely and quickly, and it should save you a massive amount of time. Now, if you have any questions about that or anything you'd like to add to this video in terms of comments, please do feel free. I pose things semi-regularly using Rigify. It's not something I'd say I constantly use because I don't animate with it. You can use this very effectively for animation. You can just set up keyframes for this. But if there's any tips or tricks that you'd like to share, please feel free. That's what the comments are for. And I'm always impressed with how much people from the Blender community want to share their knowledge with other people. It's one of the great things about the program. Also, while this is intended to go through the basics, I will do a quick video on some of the common errors with Rigify or some of the common problems with Rigify that you may come across or just things that are quite useful tips to know. And that'll be in the next video. So if you aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, the bell icon, so you know when that comes out. Or if you're a bit more impatient and want that now, feel free to head on over to the Patreon, which has a link in the description. And for a few dollars a month, you get these videos a week ahead of time ad-free, and other great perks as well. Have a great day, guys.